All right, I hold in my hands the brand new Sony mini microphone that is the little brother of the B1M, which is a top selling microphone that is consistently sold out. Is this microphone just as good as a shotgun microphone? Let's find out together. Next. All right, so welcome to today's video. Today I have the new mini microphone from Sony. It's a digital microphone. This is a very small compact microphone that has four capsules up on top along with a bunch of switches and dials on the back. And I'm gonna explain what each one of these does to help improve your audio quality. So first off, this thing is super compact. I mean, it is super tiny. This thing is definitely smaller than any microphone that I currently have. The smallest microphone I do have is the DDD4 duo which does capture front sound and back sound if you so choose and this microphone is going to do all that plus some so it's compact cable free it also does not require any battery power it can record audio in three different directions and using the multi interface hot shoe this microphone is going to give you a digital signal so i'm going to go ahead and mount it up right now to the sony zve 10 and i'm going to go ahead and show you how compact in nature this microphone can be I mean, look at how tiny this thing is. This is on the Sony ZV-E10. Now this mic does come with a provided dead cat or windscreen, and it does go over the top of this four capsule microphone. But as you can see, this thing is super tiny, super compact. This might be the smallest vlogging setup that you can get on the market today. Again, this is the Sony ZV-E10 with the 10 to 20 millimeter F4 lens on it, along with the brand new Sony digital microphone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the windscreen on it. So you can see exactly how big of a footprint this thing has. I mean, this thing is super tiny. We hold it up to my hand here. I mean, this thing is super tiny. This thing easily slips into any bag and can be used in almost every situation. First, let me go ahead, throw this mic on so you can see and hear exactly what it sounds like. Whew. All right, so now here we're back. I was recording with the DD D3 Pro. This is a great microphone, great for outside, but I mean, look at how big and huge this thing is. Oh, here's my hand again. Oh, you can't see it. Why? Because this microphone is so huge. So right now we have that mini B1M microphone up on top of the camera. If Sony comes out with a better name prior to me releasing this video, I'll go ahead and I'll put it somewhere here on the screen so you know exactly what this microphone is truly called. This thing is a four capsule microphone. It has a noise filter on it. So this way it's supposed to block out noise that uh, like wind and things like that. On top of the windscreen, it's got noise cancellation on it. It also has a low cut filter, which will help cut out some of that additional wind noise as well. And this thing does connect directly to the hot shoe of the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm seeing here. So I got the Sony ZV-E10. I'm super excited because this is the first opportunity I've had to work with Sony on one of the releases. So it makes me super excited that I get to feature one of their products. So basically I got this thing on a Friday, play with it on Saturday. Today is Sunday, so we're shooting this thing on Sunday. And so this is what I'm staring at right now. Look at how small and compact that is. I mean, that is really nice. Mounted on my a7 IV. I mean, this thing is super tiny, super compact. And as you can see, there's absolutely no wires, no cables involved in this setup at all. It's super clean. And what I love is how compact this thing is. It's because it fits right into the digital hot shoe. So this thing picks up great audio and it's supposed to pick up my voice. Now it only has four capsules where the bigger brother, the B1M has eight capsules. I don't know if there's a difference because I don't have the B1M microphone. Unfortunately, that thing is on back order all the time. So it's very difficult to get your hands on. Hopefully this mini version does allow Sony the ability to get more of these microphones into everybody's hand because it is super nice to not have to worry about the audio levels. I mean, I'm looking at the audio levels on the screen right now and they're pinging right where they should be, right around negative 20 to negative 12. I mean, this thing is really awesome and I really like it. I'm gonna take it out. Let's show you how light it is. Now for Sony to be able to send me out this microphone, I do really appreciate that. And this is the first time I've worked with Sony on a project like this. I'm really appreciative and I wanna do a good job here. Let's see if the weather cooperates. So first, let me tell you how small and compact this microphone is. This thing is only 79.3 millimeters long. That is very short. So this thing is very tiny. It's, it's really small. It's a very small footprint. And it sticks up off your camera about the same height as a normal microphone would. It's super duper light. It only weighs 72 grams. So, I mean, this thing is super compact, super light. You are not gonna have any problems throwing this thing right into your bag and be able to use it. Other mics like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus 
That is gonna be 170 millimeters long. That's a huge microphone. This thing is so tiny and so compact, it barely comes off the camera at all. And with the Video Mic Pro, it's gonna weigh in at about 122 grams, almost double the weight of, of this little tiny compact microphone. Now maybe you got the Rode Video Mic. That thing is 248 millimeters long, so that thing is really long. Again, this thing is only 79 millimeters long, so it's super small, super compact. And that thing weighs 171 grams. It's almost 100 grams heavier than this microphone is. Again, for compact travel, lightweight vlogging, this mic is gonna do an exceptional job and it's not gonna leave you desiring much. And the beauty is, is that it's super directional. It's gonna be very concentrated on your voice. It's gonna try and ignore the outside elements, like the plane flying by right now. We'll see if we can hear this in post. Thanks for uh, flying your plane right over my house. Appreciate that. Now the wind's starting to pick up, so this is a great time to talk about some of the additional features that this thing has. It's got like this shock mount on it, which the microphone does move around a little bit on it. Like I said, the wind's starting to pick up, so let's talk a little bit about what this microphone has that helps prevent some of that wind noise from getting into your videos. Being that this thing doesn't have any cables, it does allow the microphone to work and reduce that vibration that you normally hear in most microphones. Sometimes you hear a little hiss or a little hum. With this thing being completely digital, you're not gonna hear that. Or at least you're gonna hear it less than what you hear in, in a normal microphone. The other nice thing is without having any cables, you don't have to worry about carrying cables around. You just throw this thing right in the hot shoe and it's going to provide exceptional audio quality. Now again, it's got that windscreen on it and I am outdoors and the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. So we'll have to find out if in post I can hear any of that wind noise. Now I do have this thing set to NC. So there are three different levels of noise cancellation. There's the off, which is one level, but then there's also the NC and the LC. Now the LC is a low cut filter. It's gonna cut out things like air conditioning sounds or vibrations. So more when you're inside the house, it's going to cut out those additional noises. But that NC, that noise canceling or that noise cut, now that NC setting is gonna cut down on a lot of the wind noise. When you couple that with the wind muff, it should definitely help cut out a ton of the wind noise. Now this thing does have three microphones on it. It's a three-in-one build setup. It does have a directional microphone, which is what you're hearing me at right now. So this directional microphone, it's gonna try and pick up everything. So if you think of 180 degrees, that's everything around the microphone. It's gonna try and pick up everything in front of the microphone and forward. So that's what the directional mic is picking up right now. There are some sirens going off right now, some birds chirping. And these are all things that I wanted to test so doing a studio shoot would not have given us this type of experience. So they call this the super directional microphone. And this is great for interviews or selfies or anything of that nature where the person who's talking is gonna be in front of the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the mic to the next level and we'll see if we can hear a difference. Now I have changed the microphone setting to the unidirectional microphone. That's where it's gonna pick up a little bit further behind the microphone and forward. So this is what the audio quality is gonna sound like when you're using that directional microphone. This is really good when you're doing something where you're having maybe a discussion with somebody, maybe one person on camera, and then you have another person kind of off to the side a little bit. And maybe they're still in shot, but, but this is more of a microphone that you're gonna use when you are in a discussion, in a conversation, maybe you're at a family party, things of that nature. This is what you're gonna probably use. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the last microphone setting and we'll see how that one sounds. All right, so now I have it set up to the omnidirectional microphone. This is supposed to pick up sound from all around the camera. So now there's sirens going off again in the background. Sounds like a fire truck. Not sure if you guys can hear that. This is what the mic would sound like in the omnidirectional situation. So when is this good? This is good when maybe you're at a festival or you're out at a outside party and you wanna capture what's going on. Maybe you're taking a trip to Disneyland or Disney World. And this is exactly what you're gonna to wanna to do if you wanna capture a lot of that environment sound. This is what the sound is gonna sound like when you're out in the omnidirectional setting. Let's go ahead and talk about a couple more features now. This microphone also has some decibel reduction on it. So at zero, this thing is super hot, almost unusable when you're in front of the camera and doing this handheld stuff. But if you need some further away, that's where the zero decibels is gonna come in very handy. So the switch goes up and down here and you can change it from zero to 10 to 20. 10, 
that's okay. For something that's a little bit further away, like maybe maybe like six to 10 feet away, you're gonna use zero when something's really far away. So like maybe 20 feet away. Negative 20, that's what I've been having it at most of this video. And the audio quality sounds really good. I've been keeping this at negative 20. I think it works great for vlogging and that type of video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Now this thing does have an auto manual switch. So if you prefer to try and control the audio levels by yourself, you can switch this thing into manual. It does have this dial on the back, which you can increase the gain from zero all the way up to 10 dBs. Although honestly, I've been using it mostly as auto and it's been doing a fantastic job. I haven't had a single complaint with the audio levels. In fact, the audio levels came through very crisp, very clear. With this being a digital microphone, it's gonna work great with your A1, your A92, with your Alpha 7 4K, Camera, along with your a7c your Sony ZV-E10 along with the Sony a7s3 and the Sony a7r4 a version also this thing does work with the FX threes it also works with the Sony ZV-1 and it's gonna be super small and super compact on that camera as well if you do not have one of those cameras this microphone will still work but it will work in an analog capacity so the signal is not gonna be as crisp as clear but it is still gonna feed through that hot shoe that you have on the camera and it is going to provide you with some great audio this is super compact, it's super tiny, it's gonna fit very nicely into a bag. It is battery free. The power it draws is all from the camera, it's all internally powered through your camera. It is starting to rain, so I'm gonna head back over to the tent and we'll finish this video up. Now listen, this thing is dust and moisture proof resistant. So let's talk a little bit about some of the cons. This has to be attached to your camera. So there's no other way to shoot with this thing. So that means that you're gonna be unable to boom it. If you need a boom mic, this thing is not gonna work very well for a boom mic. Now I do know that Peter Lindgren uses the B1M all the time and he doesn't even boom and his audio sounds great. So I think maybe with that gain reduction, instead of having it at negative 20, you could probably put it at like negative 10 and it's gonna work great for videos that you're shooting that are a little bit further away. And the other other downside is that when you are not booming this thing you're gonna need to be a little bit closer to lens so you're gonna need a wider lens you're just gonna have to be a little bit closer to the microphone in order for it to work properly this microphone does have a little bit of wobble on it so my only fear is is throwing it in the bag if you throw it in the bag just tossing it in there without any concern that shoe might break off and you're gonna be spending a lot of money on this which we haven't even talked about but you're gonna be spending a lot of money on this thing so you don't want it to just break and you'll be without you got to be a little careful with that is I do think that that little vibration or wobble that it has could break off pretty easily Again, if you're looking for some that is gonna be a little bit more powerful, you're gonna to wanna to step up to the B1M microphone if you can find it. It does have an eight capsule microphone. It's gonna pick up a little bit more sound. Where this thing is more compact, it's very small, it's very lightweight. This thing is more designed for run and gun vlogging versus huge studio setup, but it still will work in a studio setup. So finally, let's talk about when this thing is gonna be available. It is gonna come in at $249 and you can start pre-ordering it right now. It's $100 cheaper than the B1M microphone. Microphone. I haven't used the B1M microphone, but I've been told that the audio quality is about the same. It's really the price level, the compactness, the smallness, the, the tininess that this thing offers that is going to be the leg up on that bigger brother B1M microphone. You can save yourself a hundred bucks and go with this microphone versus trying to find that B1M microphone, which is they're not a stock everywhere. Now, if you do pre-order this thing, it is looking to be released to the public on August 8th. I got this mic for a little bit longer, so I'm gonna do some comparisons to things like the DDD3 Pro and to the DDD4. I also have the Rode Video Micro. I plan on doing some comparison videos. If you're interested in that, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that like button. If you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna like the video on the screen now. Go ahead and click on this video. I'll see you on that video next. Again, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one.